my Scorpio friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading for the week of March 19th to the 25th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. Scorpio, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would so much appreciate that because you guys really are my most favorite to read for, like, I'm not even joking about that. Scorpio, because you guys are always so interesting. Scorpio, I am using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot. Amazing deck. Okay. It's going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And as always, Scorpio, just keep in mind if the reading doesn't resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. Spirit Scorpio, all my Scorpio subscribers, March 19th, the 25th, 2018, Scorpio. Scorpio, those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Instago, links to everything that you guys need are underneath the video right in the description box. love to have you guys follow me on Facebook. Definitely going to start at least three days a week going live on Facebook, doing live dailies for each element. So I'd love to have you guys follow me there. Scorpio, your cards feel good. We have the Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, your foundation, central issue, foundation, recent past, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, listen, guys, the majority won. Uh, I know a few of you don't like the reversals, but, you know, I got to accommodate everybody in some way shape or form so the weeklies i'll use reversals but the monthlies the celts across spread there will no there will not be any reversals okay only the weeklies ten of cups in the reverse and moving forward the ace of wands in the reverse okay the first thing that i'm definitely noticing is some of you are in fantasy world, like big time. No offense. Like you have, you do have a lot of options in love if you're single. If you're coupled, you definitely could be arguing a lot with your partner. Um, you know, the five of wands, it's over st stupid things, things that are petty. It feels like, honestly, making threats, but nothing's really happening. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or this could be one of your children that's a little bit out of control. I feel like definitely if this is one of your children, they're causing trouble in the, in the home. On the home front, within the marriage. It could be also why your marriage is draining you emotionally. If you're not married, then it's and then it's, you know, your partnership, your relationship. And it's just, there's just a lot of fighting going on. And then the Ace of Wands in the reverse is a lack of passion. I mean, you could have a lot of opportunities within your career path. 
with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, Scorpio, you're just not feeling creative or inspired. You could even feel blocked in some way. It could be because you have family issues and you can't focus on your creativity. It just, it feels like a lot of you feel emotionally and completely drained. Anytime I see any cups in the reverse, especially like the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, you know, that's a big drainage emotionally. So let's go right to this Ten of Cups. Yeah, definitely this card wants to come. All right, the Seven of Wands. So some of you definitely feel like you need to defend yourself against your family. Or, or defend trying to complete trying, you know, try defending, trying to complete a cycle. Let's go right to the five of wands. Five of wands. Show me why the five of wands is here for Scorpio. All right, that feels good. Okay, the Two of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Cups in the reverse. So there definitely could have been a third party, Scorpio, that was involved in your marriage, your relationship. They're causing trouble, fights. Trying to get you to leave someone. Definitely, how do I want to say this? I feel like, especially with the Five of Wands, I'm really getting that someone is trying to get you to leave two people behind. But I am really getting that. Or just leave this, leave the third party situation, which is definitely very emotional. But someone is definitely trying to get someone to leave a third party, whether this is work-related, on the romantic front. Someone is definitely trying to get someone to leave a third party. That That's straight up clear. Ace of Wands. All right. Definitely this one. Wow, the moon in the reverse. Um... Someone is definitely, Scorpio, not telling the truth about their feelings. And it appears to be you because this is you. This is, in this deck, this is definitely your card. Oh, sweet Jesus. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Guys, I'm right on about this. Someone is definitely feeling a lot of passion for, for someone. And that's definitely going to come out. That some something whatever whatever you, Scorpio, if you're doing anything sneaky, underhanded, it, it, it's coming out. Let me look at the. At the Seven of Cups. Make sure this this there's this isn't really illusions here. Alright, with the Seven of Cups spirit. The Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Alright, these two fell out. What do we got? Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Well, yeah, you definitely might be a little bit delusional about a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Scorpio, this is you. Some of you definitely are absolutely, totally exhausted. Emotionally drained, definitely. I feel like some of you have secret feelings for someone. 
And I feel like that is definitely going to be revealed very soon. Others of you, if you are married... Things are coming out. Let me just... Let me look at the Ten of Cups again. I definitely... All right, the Empress, you're definitely... You're definitely married. Some of you are definitely married. And there is also... There's also two women here. Or male. The, no gender. Not private readings that would matter for me, but not in the not in the generals. You know, some of you, you know, could have a mother in law. You know, your mom. That's just really being a pain in the ass. Or, you know, your mom, your mother-in-law, a motherly figure. They could be the third party and they're getting in the way of your love life in some way. And the King of Cups, you again. All right, and both elements are here, the King and the Queen. Okay, listen. I, I, I do have a lot of cards on the table, so so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give you the story straight up, okay? Some of you definitely have secret feelings for another pers person. Most likely an Aries or a Taurus with the Empress, the mother figure. She's interfering, getting in your way. Definitely looks like a married couple has a third party getting in the way and you guys aren't seeing things the same the same way anymore. And whoever has the secret feelings, whether whether it's you or someone else, but I think it's you, Scorpio. But but you know, general reading it could be an Aries or a Taurus. I do get the sense that some of you, you know, this is work related. But honestly, I am feeling this on the relationship front. Someone definitely wasn't telling the truth. But this truth is definitely coming out three to four weeks. And this third party that's in your space, it could, it could be your boss. That's, that's even keeping you from progressing on your career path. Or this Aries or this, this Taurus just seems to think that they're a know-it-all. I'm going to look at this one more time for you guys. These are the Gypsy Oracle Sibylas. Oh, the light's bright on that, sorry. Really powerful cards. Because this feels bad to me. I don't know why, but it does. Alright, let's see. Here's your three-party situation. Two people. Oh my god. Okay, Scorpio, this is just like the Tower card in, in, in traditional tarot, but worse. 
aside from the fact that this um, three-party situation, this is usually a reunion, there is definitely, whatever this secret is, it's coming out. It's coming out in an explosive way, Scorpio. I'm so sorry. Like, my advice... Admit what you need to admit. Tell the truth about what you need to tell the truth about. If you're getting out of this three-party situation, do it ASAP. I mean, I say three to four weeks. I mean, this could be three to four days. The, the You know. And there's a full moon tomorrow, the 17th. I'm, doing, I'm videoing this on Friday the 15th. Oh my God, that's, I'm serious. That just hit me. There's a full moon tomorrow. Scorpio, this is an important message for you guys. And you know why I feel like it's even more important? Because it comes up for you a lot. Especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. And I did Aries yesterday, last night. And their reading was similar to yours. I, I don't remember exactly, believe it or not, but I know they had fires going on around them. I think that really, that that's, that's not a coincidence with the moon, it being a full moon. Tomorrow, you guys are getting this reading before the 17th. Or on the 17th. That's important. Scorpio. Wow. You guys are always so interesting. Amazing. If it did not resonate, again, please, guys, look at your moon, your rising signs. But I hope it helps some of you out in some way, shape, or form. Scorpio, I love you guys. I wish you guys a wonderful week. A blessed week. Those of you that are going through that, good luck. I will say prayers for you guys, honestly. Until next time, Scorpio, take care. Bye-bye.